seat out here in the hot Arizona sun while I'm sitting in the shade. The 70 to 80 millimeter recommended FMS CG range I do not recommend. The 70 makes it very pitch sensitive and the 80 makes it almost too tail heavy. Uh, depending on whether or how you weight the nose in the front. My particular airplane here has 9.9 .9 ounces of lead weight in the plastic nose and I'm flying with the Zippy 8006S 30C as I posted before. This flight was with all three drop tanks. I've added two extra drop tanks that are not stocked, but they do add some nice flair to it. Uh, and I'm flying a wing camera on the, on the wing just to try and get some in-flight footage. Plane flies fabulous. I do have the 460 motors on it I was testing today, and I really like the 460 motors and the way it, it handles. I did have to dial in a, about 7% down elevator and 10% down elevator with the flap combination. That's takeoff and landing flaps, respectively, uh, to keep it from nose pitching up a little bit. I do have my battery all the way forward on it. Retracts work flawlessly. I even had some really hard sit downs today where I bounced it, pancaked it on the ground, and the gear handles up fine. And no, I didn't do it on purpose. It was typical pilot error. <laughs> I just let it get too slow and it started to fall out of the air while I was getting a new feel for it. So it's kind of a remade. This is like the fifth or sixth flight today. I had the airplane out at my club today here at the Gilbert Quiet Flyers. I was letting a few of my friends fly and see it because they've ordered the FMS. It's a really fantastic looking airplane. Uh, so they're excited about it. So I'm playing around with some different uh, CG settings on it, stuff like that. The uh, gear could be uh, actually could be designed to be located a little further back because it, it tends to want to hop on the nose because the forward gear is a little too far forward, but nothing that's not manageable and works real well. The plane takes off in a smooth takeoff pitch with no flaps whatsoever. Cruises around the sky at about 25 to 30 percent throttle without any problem, even on the 440 stock KV motors. The amp draw is really slow. I, th this was a short flight. I only flew it through the pattern a couple times and set it down because I'm, I'm changing settings back and forth and retrimming. But you can get an easy seven to eight minute flights out of this on like an 8,000 or a 7,000 like Rich at RC Informer uh, has flown with his and so forth. So gorgeous plane. FMS really knocked themselves out with this one. This, this is a nice one. Be, be, uh, know though, the plane flies a little heavy on the sticks. Uh, like a lot of some of the newer market planes that are out, the free wing, big 80mm A10, it doesn't fly like the Flatline Tiger Cat, which has a lighter uh, feel to it and a little slower feel on it. Uh, I did have a gyro on this today. It's the one thing that saved me a stabilizer when I was testing it at the 80cg mark by shuffling the battery back and taking out some of the weight. If I hadn't had that stabilizer in it, I would have lost the plane today because it was just way too pitch sensitive and it was all over the place. And the stabilizer is the only thing that saved my butt to keep me from losing it today when I tested out the 80 millimeter CG. So I highly advise to stay away from that 80 millimeter. 70's pushing it. Me and Rich came up with the CG on this earlier. Actually, Rich is the first one who did it when he flew it at Joe Nall. And that's to fly it at 57 millimeters with the gear down and 63 millimeters with the gear or with the, with the gear with the, with the gear up. Actually, I take that back. 57, I think I've got that backwards. But anyway, 57 and 63 millimeters are the two ranges that we have flown it at. And that's where I'm going to end up reverting this one back to. I'm going to drop another two ounces into the nose uh, so that I can supply some of my smaller batteries. It's weighted right now with 9 ounces, 9.9 .9 ounces for a Zippy 8000, which is actually a choice battery to fit in this airplane. It gives you lots of flight time, and I could actually take this thing up two more times. I just checked my cells earlier through the wireless and I'm I took off at 4.1 per cell uh, to 4.17 and I'm still at 4.1 for that three or four minute flight there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll get this up on YouTube. I got some flight videos today with a buddy of mine, third person. He's got to email them to me, but we'll finally get some video up so everybody can see of the La Patrona up flying to this fantastic, fabulous FMS airplane. You guys have a good one. Been nice talking to you.